Welcome to Touchpoints TV. I'm Debbie House, Editor-in-Chief of Retail Touchpoints, and I'm here with Gary Edwards, who's the Chief Customer Officer for Empathica. Welcome to you and thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much, Debbie. So uh, we want to talk a little bit about some trends in the industry, and the first question is kind of a, a general look at uh, what are some of the challenges that you see retailers facing, and, and what are your, some of your recommendations for how they can address those challenges these days? Sure, absolutely. You know, it's been a tough year for retailers. It's, it? uh, it's a difficult economy we track through our Consumer Insights Wallet and Pathka consumer perceptions and generally they've been fairly negative this last year and we haven't seen as a result of that the kind of spending that retailers want. So with that kind of challenge um, and everyone discounting and trying to find right. a way back into the wallets of customers, we've seen more and more that the focus has to be on the experience. What are those small but important things you can do that will bring your customers back that will make you stand out, create an emotional memory if you will, for that customer that says, you know, I enjoyed shopping there. Mm -hmm. I love the product but I also love the people and the way I was treated and it's important for me to go back there. So when I've got less money to spend, it's gonna become more important to me as a customer that I spend it in places that matter to me. And so the experience really has become uh, essential as a focus point for retailers this last year. So think about how to make the in-store experience unique, um, innovative, and interesting to your Absolutely. Customers. Everyone wants to talk about differentiation, but it's a tough thing to do. Yeah. You know, so many concepts do almost the exact same thing. So to stand out, you really do have to figure out what are those unique elements in the experience or journey that a customer has with us that stand out, ones that we want to reinforce, and then as we do at Empathica, let's measure and manage those and make okay. sure they're happening every day in every store uh, to keep those customers coming back. All right, terrific. So one of the issues on a lot of retailers' minds these days is this topic of showrooming. Sure. So customers are researching uh, products online, on their mobile devices, on their PCs, before they're coming into the stores, maybe coming in and taking a look, but then purchasing. Um, out of the store and offline. So what do you suggest retailers do to combat this whole issue? Well, I'm not sure if they have to combat it. They just have to get their head around it and make okay. sure they're creating a great experience. First of all, that's consistent. Oftentimes the SKU is different online versus in the store. That can create confusion for customers. Also the actual experience, how they set up and build the infrastructure for. If you're the easy to do shopping with uh, business, then let's make sure that online system is easy. Let's make sure rather than combating it, let's make sure that the customer actually finds it seamless. I can take my mobile device into store, find what I was looking for, maybe get some help, talk to somebody knowledgeable. Uh, even if, a, as most retailers are, kind of a self-directed uh, environment, still you need somebody who can point you to the right place, even, even make a positive comment, validate your purchase, if you will. Uh, point you to some other options. Those are important moments that they have to be captured. And then, as often happens in showrooming, the actual purchase may occur there, but again, you'll stand out and hopefully that customer will go back and say, with confidence, this is where I want to shop. Um, I may be able to find a little cheaper somewhere else, but I have confidence this is the right place for me. Okay. So embrace it. Absolutely. Okay. Perfect. Um, customer feedback. Uh, is an interesting topic and a lot of customers, uh, shoppers out there are sharing their input via uh, methods such as Facebook or Google Plus surveys. Sure. Um, how do you suggest that retailers uh, embrace that type of thing in addition to maybe some of the other internal um, strategies they have in place for collecting customer feedback? Sure. Well, I think what we're seeing is you know, the need to understand your customer and to gather feedback on an ongoing basis is as important or more important now, um, more so than it ever has been. And it's easier for people to do it. You can, again, use a mobile device or you can go what's now, what used to be uh, you know, very cutting edge is now just plain and every day. We see it on almost uh, for every retailer. You go into a restaurant, there it is on the receipt. Please give us some feedback. And for the companies that do it, that really care about it, it does make a difference to the experience. They attend to that, they give feedback to, their manage, the, to the manager, the manager takes it to his or her staff, and it really makes a difference. Now, obviously with social media, the other thing that's happening is the experience, and whether it's positive or negative, is, is it, we take that message as a customer outside the walls. Uh, much more easily and we, we transport the experience not just within those, the experience itself is transported outside those walls. So what retailers have to really do is they have to aggressively uh, find ways to, when things go well, shout it out to the world. So we help uh, at Empathica customers uh, who've had a great experience, uh, tell their story on Facebook, tweet it to the world, uh, put it on a Google Plus or Yelp review. We're helping retailers take the fact that, look, many times you do it right, let's make sure it's shout out to the world. But just as aggressively, you have to make sure that uh, when things go sideways, when it's not a good experience, they take that uh, discussion and they get it offline. We've got to make sure responsibly that there's somebody there to attend to that customer right away, take it offline and hopefully deal with their concern in a way that uh, brings them back as a happy customer. 
Terrific. All right, well, thanks so much for sharing your insights today. Thank you, Debbie. And thanks to all of you for joining us on Touchpoints TV. Have a great day.